So this next comic, he's coming to the stage for the first time in 15 years. Not kidding. So be fucking nice and warm and lovely and give a big hand, everybody, to George Kane. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Do you guys like jerking off? <laughs> no, does. Yeah. Um, and I'm not judging because I do too. But uh, I will confess that I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to that sort of thing. I don't need to take it to strange new heights like some people need to get their jollies. You know, you've heard of some of this weird stuff where uh, people like hang themselves when they jerk off. And there's that yeah. <laughs> auto erotic asphyxiation. Yeah. And then there's this thing where people sit on their hand until it gets numb and then they jerk off with that hand and it feels like someone else is giving them a hand job and they call that the stranger. Well, I've come up with a masturbation innovation that I'd like to share with you guys now. Um, so guys, <clears throat> what you do is you go out and you pick up this really slutty woman, right? You take her back to your place and then you take your dick and insert it into her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> until you ejaculate and masturbate that way. I call that the really friendly stranger. <laughs> My girlfriend hates that joke. <clears throat> My girlfriend loves peanut butter and she hates that joke. <laughs> Shit. There I go again. Uh, using that word, girlfriend. Uh, she hates it when I call her my girlfriend, uh, primarily because she likes to fuck other guys. Uh, no, uh, she hates when I call her my girlfriend because if she puts it, she doesn't believe in putting labels on things, which I guess explains why she's always eating my fucking peanut butter. <laughs> Your relationship to work, you gotta want the same things. That's all I know. My girlfriend and I are at loggerheads over a particular sticking point right now. She's getting to the point where she started thinking about uh, starting a family, and uh, I'm getting to the age where I'm starting thinking about uh, slaying one. <laughs> hey, fuck you, it's my bucket list. <laughs> um, so one night we were having some blissful post-coital pillow talk, and I tossed this little chestnut out for her. I said, hey, just imagine you've got $10 million, like you won the lottery, free and clear. What would you do? I'll go first. First, quick job, obvious. Second, for me, it's all jetpacks, yachts, underwriting my own hunger games. She starts off with, well, you know, first thing I'll do is I'll hire a financial planner, and then I'll diversify my portfolio, and I'm like, whoa, 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 get to the fun shit. We'll have time to break ground on your wet blanket factory sometime down the road. That's not the point of this exercise. Have some imagination. Um, I am 41 which I didn't used to think of as being very old, but now I know for a fact that it is old, and I'll tell you how I know that 41 is old. The other night, my friend and I were out of a Santa Cruz evening, and uh, it was typically chilly Santa Cruz night, and we were dressed appropriately, and saw this guy walking down the street, just in a t-shirt, and I turned to my friend and I said, you know, that guy ought to go home and put on a layer. <laughs> I said that with my mouth because I thought it was my brain. <laughs> the relative warmth and comfort of strangers is comment worthy. You're fucking old. <laughs> okay? Old. Alright? I'm old, folks. The other day I mailed my friend a birthday card. I put a check for $5 in it. I'm old. I have gloves in the glove compartment on my fucking car. Okay? Old. <laughs> um, love Santa Cruz. I've been here nine years after living in Orlando, Florida, if you can call that living. Uh, I was engaged to a woman that had a child from a previous fucking, but I got out of that. Uh, fucking love Santa Cruz, man, it's great. And you're right, that is some quality pandering. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, I'm from North Carolina, hence the accent, and I came here from Florida. There's a little transition, kind of the grade on the curve when you move from the south to Santa Cruz and uh, get used to the charms of Santa Cruz. Uh, for instance, the other day I met a guy, honest to God, his name was Legend. <laughs> As in the legend of the boy who got his ass kicked every fucking day at school until he climbed the bell tower with a rifle and started picking people off saying, Call me Lee! Call me Lee! <laughs> and I had to ask the guy, I said, seriously, how, how much do you fucking hate your parents for doing that to you? Like on a scale of one to ten, like if one is the Brady Bunch, and Tim is like Lohan Menendez Brothers. Where, where, where are you at on that? Uh, you know, I don't know if this comedy thing's going to work out. It's debatable. But if it doesn't, 
I just put them a fucking bomb. Santa Cruz is a great town to be a bomb, as you may have noticed. The weather's nice. That's correct. Uh, charitable people. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to be like one of your garden variety, one of the mill Santa Cruz bombs. I'm going to be a classy kind of bomb. <laughs> Instead of like a change cup, I'm going to hand out deposit slips. <laughs> um, good news. Downtown Santa Cruz is about to get a Forever Five. It's the Forever 21 for pedophiles. That <laughs> joke always gets a big laugh at the pedophile bar. <laughs> um, good news further. Apparently I'm dating Taylor Swift. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think it's going to work out though. Um, I don't see longevity there. Because uh, I'm 41 and she's a cunt. <laughs> That's how big of a vagina is, guys. Um, but you know, it might work. Fuck me. We're both songwriters. Um, it might work. Uh, in fact, I wrote what I consider to be the world's most romantic song. I'm not going to sing it, but I'll tell you the title. The title of the world's most romantic song is Girl. <clears throat> Let's just stay in tonight, cuddle up on the couch in our jammies, we'll split a bottle of red wine, work our way through a box of skin cows. I'll give you a three and a half hour foot rub, and then we'll turn in early and just cuddle while I play with your hair all night long. And then tomorrow night, we'll do whatever you want to do. That's my time. Thanks for it. Yeah. 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 There we go.